stealing your thunder. <laughs> this is Shannon Deskins reporting, uh, doing some more flooding reports from uh, Pike County. Actually, I'm in Coal Run Village right now, and I've got Andrew Scott, the mayor of Coal Run. And Andrew, where we're standing right now, um, it's obvious the water is up. Your, your park is now underwater. Our park is underwater, and, and it's unfortunate uh, to see to see all this. I mean, you can look and you can see our stage here is underwater as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got some stuff out of our storage building, which is uh, where our bathrooms are. But, you know, we are blessed right now that we do not have, as of this point, any homes underwater and any families dealing with, uh, dealing, dealing with having to be rescued. So, you know, all in all, um, you know, even though it's a difficult day for all of us here, you know, we're, we're blessed that we don't have anybody, anybody having to deal with, um, evac uh, anybody having right. to deal with, with, with being flooding and having to be rescued. Now we know last night we had a really rapid rise. I mean, about 25 feet overnight, um, but it has slowed down. Last we've heard, and you and I've been talking um, with NOAA, uh, the Corps of Engineers, and a lot of people who are watching the river. They're looking at, we, we may hit 40 feet, um, but hopefully we'll stay under that. And we're within a foot, foot and a half of that now, uh, or a couple feet. So maybe we're looking at the last of that. They're hoping by early afternoon uh, that we will actually see a crest. So I know, you know, Coal Run has a lot of low-lying low lying areas we do. that are prone to get water when we get to that point. So we let, we've got our fingers crossed. But I know you've got... I've seen your police officers go by. I mean, they're going home by home to make sure everybody's okay at this point. Yeah, and, and, and particularly in our low-lying areas, I've, I've, I've ordered them to go home by home and just let people know, hey, the water is rising and you probably need to get out. We've got some homes on, on Windward Lane that are, that are particularly in danger. I know one of them is currently evacuating. Okay. Um, but at this point, you know, as, uh, as opposed to our 2015 flood, um, at this point right now we have not had to do any water rescues, but we do have... Uh, the Floyd County uh, Swift Water Rescue Team on standby. I just spoke with Mayor Les Stapleton, and I want to thank right. Mayor Stapleton for, for helping us. We do have them on standby should we have to have any do any do any more rescues. Plus, we've also got our special response our special response tactical Humvee vehicle, which can forward you know water up to four feet. And we've got um, several fire fire tr fire trucks that can also get in some high water to, to get right. people. But we don't anticipate that happening. Hopefully. Well, you are one of the many communities in the area that are pretty much just watching on high alert right now. So I appreciate you and all the staff that you have that are keeping your, your residents safe. Well, thank you very much, Jenny. All right. Thanks, Andrew. Have a good day. And as you can see, we're going to pan around behind me, and you can see what we're talking about when we say that the Coal Run Park uh, is underwater. The stage, uh, we've got the picnic tables, some of the things, um, you can't access it at this point. But again, if that's all that we're going to deal with with this situation is some flooded recreational areas, and we should all consider ourselves lucky. At this point in Coal Run, the city of Pikeville, we've been in contact with officials. No homes have been inundated with water. Now, I know that's not to say that there aren't some places out in different counties in our region. Um, but of course, East Kentucky Broadcasting, EKB News, we have reporters out throughout the region trying to get a grip and trying to bring you the information that is going on, uh, even in the more rural areas. So stay tuned throughout the day. Uh, we are going to continue to monitor this situation um, as far as the water. But uh, the next time that you see us will probably be with the Pikeville Fire Department as they are preparing to close those floodgates. So stay tuned and we'll bring you more flood information as it becomes available. Reporting in Coal Run, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.